Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Raven Maureen and today I'm going to be sharing with you all of my sewing plans for June and I am so excited for this because June is my birthday month so I'm literally just going to be celebrating all month long because your girl is going to be the big three five and we like nice round numbers around here so let's just go with it. So in addition to it being my birthday month, I want you guys to celebrate with me all month long. And so I am actually holding a month long sale in my pattern weight shop. You guys can enjoy 20% off everything, no minimum, and just celebrate with me. If you want to buy me a gift, buy the pattern weights, you know, whatever. But anyway, I want to jump into what I'm making. But first, let me just say, I know I've been MIA like I think my last upload was like 10 days ago, which is very atypical for me, but I'm back now. I'm refreshed and I've got some really amazing projects coming up for you guys. So let's get into what we're going to be doing for June. So can I just say that I've already started making things for June? Like I'm filming this on June 1st and I think I'm probably going to drop it in like the next day or so, but I have made a pair of shoes. So hear me out. I know everyone's been on like the making shoes kick, but mm, I probably was a little bit ahead of the curve because I bought this espadrille kit like a year ago and I forgot about it. I started cleaning my room the other day and I was like, excuse me. And so I had some leftover, um, cowhide like fabric from like one of my um craft shows from last year and so I said you know what these will make really cute espadrilles um so I made some slides and it took about like it took two nights but that was only because like sewing the the jute I guess you can call it or sewing through the jute with like that thick fabric like my hands were like raw like right here and right here and I just like couldn't do it but like the actual task of it is pretty easy um and then I did have some like supplemental tools like I was using like a, pl a plier to pull the needle through I actually broke a needle um and then I was also using an awl to punch the hole because I mean let's be real to like have these high expectations that like a needle is going to get through like hide fabric and jute I don't see it happening I don't care how big the needle is um so yeah I have already made my shoes and I'm so excited for this like I already have some outfits playing off in my head so stay tuned for that but I can't wait to literally be like no it's head to toe like I made my shoes um the other thing is that I'm currently working on a sew along for this pattern McCall's 8516. This is actually from the new collection, the new summer line. I'm going to be making view A and I'm so excited because I'm actually going to be using fabric from my um, Mood Fabrics mystery box and it was a favorite of y'all's. Like you guys overwhelmingly love this fabric and I think, let me go ahead and grab it. But I mean, it's all like in pieces or whatever, but if you saw that video, it's literally, I think, like the first or second fabric that I show in that video. And you guys were all gagged. I was gagged when I saw it. I had just enough, like, three yards um, to cut view A. So I am going to get into that and cut view A. Or no, sew up view A. And that sew along will be live very, very soon. So please stay tuned for that. I am in love with this caftan. It so judging by like the armhole size i think this is like a caftan that you can wear like not on the beach um it seems like it's like an everyday caftan um so we'll see how it goes but i'm really 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 excited to sew this up okay next up on my list mccall's 8506 again this is from their new line and at a closer analysis you guys see those like asymmetrical lines for the gathers or for the tears like Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, so let me show you the fabric I'm gonna use. So this is the fabric that I'm planning to use with it. Um, I am someone that I love like when stripes are like in tiers and rows and gathers. Like I really love that effect. And this fabric I bought, I think I bought this fabric in the fall. Um, I had bought some stuff from LA Finch Fabric and I was just like, oh, this will be cute. So I have four yards of this. 
I think this will be enough for view C, which is what the model has on. And I don't think I'm going to have mine hit exactly at the floor because I know my life and I'm liable to trip. But maybe like right at the ankle, you know what I mean? Or like just above the ankle and just like let it be flowy and pretty and whatnot. So I'm really looking forward to making this. Next up is McCall's 8499. This is also from the new summer collection. And I love this dress I just I love everything about it and you guys I have this um bed sheet that I bought from the Goodwill like last year and it's it's so Laura Ashley like look at that like this whole time I haven't really been able to find something that matches like this aesthetic and I'm like if I don't do this I would be that would be nuts like these two go together like peas and carrots like are you kidding me so um yeah, I'm going to use this bed sheet and I'm going to do this pattern. Now, <laughs> I know you guys are like, that bed sheet is so out of this world. It's definitely giving like 90s, like early 90s, like Laura Ashley Blossom. That's the point, y'all. This is the point. All right, next up, Simplicity 9598. Now, this is a pattern that <laughs> I pick up, put down, pick up, put down. And I, I've had it in my stash and then like I never get around to making it but I'm adamant like I want to make this um and I want to do the short sleeve version I think that'll be appropriate for summer and I have four yards of like this t-shirt fabric honestly this is not going to take four yards but I feel like if I mess up if I am not feeling it or whatever I mean I would probably have two extra yards to like figure it out but yes I love the open back um, I think that is just super sexy. I think doing it in a white is going to be super cute. Um, I'm probably going to have to wear nude underwear with it, like, and be super intentional about the nude underwear that I wear, just because it is white t-shirt fabric, but I love this, and hopefully I get to, I get to get into this. So the next one is McCall's 8119. Y'all, I have been trying to make this, this pattern since last summer again it hasn't happened but i actually want to do a combination of the pants but with the top from view a and i want to do this fabric um i got this fabric from hobby lobby a little bit ago and i don't know it's giving like lily pulitzer and that's kind of the vibe i'm going for and i don't know like it's just like it's whatever like i'm really into this uh aesthetic right now as you can see it's like a lot of blues and florals and just very like spring summer vibes and you know clearly my shirt is striped like that wasn't you know that wasn't intentional I think I'm just like in this place where I'm like ready for the summer but I felt like when I bought this fabric it was giving off like Lily Pulitzer type color scheme patterns that kind of thing and I thought I think this will be cute together so we'll see how it goes if it don't go then this never happened Okay, so if you've been subscribed for like at least the last three months, then you know that I've been trying to do a polka dot brown dress for a minute. Um, <laughs> so I'm kind of ashamed to like bring this up. Like, like, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> you still haven't made this Raven? No. Um, so this is Simplicity 8546. Um, this is like a classic pattern. I feel like everyone has this pattern, but I went into view A um like a but with like a short sleeve and then do like a cloth belt kind of like how you see here um and I have three yards of this I think this will be enough but I, if if I don't get to this y'all I'm gonna be real mad at myself because I've been talking about this for about three months so next up is simplicity 9851 I love the off the shoulder blouse I I honestly feel like I need more blouses in my life I really am into view A for the summertime. Like I feel like anything else would just be torture in this type of heat. But view A and in this coral color, <laughs> what you gonna tell me? Nothing. There's nothing you can tell me at all. Like this is gorgeous. Um, yeah. Like I could see it now, just off the shoulder, just just giving. And I have a I have a pair of white shorts that I made. I'm willing to bet this will be really cute together with the white shorts. Like, just a thought. So this is Nomi Pattern 2076 by Ella. I actually love the short version. 
I don't have the fabric for this yet, but um, I'm thinking like, obviously something flowy, right? But like, maybe like a, um, oh gosh, what's it called? Is it a charmeuse? It might be, it might be a charmeuse. Um, either a, like a satin silky charmeuse, something, something flowy, something just like that'll give me a lot of body. And the ruffles, I'm obsessed with the ruffles on the bottom. That's what has drawn me to this dress. So love it, love it, love it. Um, and I have looked and I think that dress A calls for at 60 inches, about three yards, which isn't bad, honestly. Um, but I love this dress. I think it'll be pretty. I actually, low key, this is a contender for me for my birthday dress when you see it you'll know but like this is really cute so i got this blush fabric in toronto last memorial day like memorial day 2023 me and my good friend lex um we went to toronto for the weekend um she indulged me and we went to some fabric shops and so i picked up this um this like blush twill fabric i love it i wish i had grabbed more but y'all know how it is when you travel abroad and the suitcase size and stuff yeah so um i'm really feeling this dress view a this is mccall's 8405 um i did look at how much fabric it yields and i think i will be good with my two and a half yards of this um i think this will be really cute together and i just love like the little itty bitty like top stitching you may not be able to see it on this girl but you might can make it out on the lime green but i really like it i think it's adorable so we'll see okay so i have a couple of other contenders for like my true birthday outfit um so let's see mccall's 8360 i love this i think this is giving like cowboy carter i want to have enough time to make this i think this is just so so beautiful and then when you look on the back the line drawings are gorgeous like so hopefully if this is the one i choose i'm really hoping i have enough time to make this i think that'll be so cute to celebrate my birthday on the internet um the other option is hear me out <laughs> so um using one of these tops this is um a simplicity vintage pattern eight six four five I'm really feeling this halter right here and mixing it with the skirt here, which is McCall's 8482 from the spring line. I don't know. I feel like it would be really cute. What y'all think? <laughs> Do y'all like my Franken pattern? <laughs> um, so that's another idea. And then my other other idea is taking vogue 9315 and i'm thoroughly in love with this top i love just the drama of it it does call for a bit of fabric like i think yeah like looking at the back of this for the line drawings this calls for about four and a half yards of fabric and i believe that because for lack of a better term like the wingspan on this blouse is pretty big um so this blouse right with one of these pairs of pants, either this view or this view. Um, haven't quite decided what I wanna do yet, but yeah. So again, another little Franken uh, thing to see how that may look. So lots of great options here. And honestly, like I love them all. And if I don't get to one or two of them for my birthday, um, or if I decide to go with one versus the other for my birthday, then I might make this next month because this is cute. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you're not following me already, you can follow me at Raven Maureen on Instagram, TikTok, and Threads. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.